hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how you can add custom meta box in the wordpress backend so first of all what is custom meta box so i am in my local site and let's go to posts and if we edit the post we will see some sections over here like this section permalink section categories tags so these are called a uh, meta box so what is meta box so meta box is a section where you can store your metadata for the post and this is applicable for custom post types as well and if you don't know what is metadata then i would suggest first you check out the link in the i button then come back again and continue this tutorial because this will need the knowledge of metadata so now let's try to add a custom metadata over here sorry custom meta box so here we have a tutorial for from the wordpress itself like what is the custom meta box uh, and why use meta box you can you can read it by yourself uh, i'm directly going to jump into the code i will provide this link in the description section so first adding a meta boxes so i am going to copy paste this whole bunch of code in my plugin file also if you don't know how to create a new plugin and then link is coming into the i button go there and see how you can create our custom plugin so all of this code uh, showing for the tutorial uh, I am adding into my custom plugins so uh, let's see what is happening with this code so this is the action add meta boxes which is coming again coming from the WordPress we should use this action while adding new custom meta boxes here uh, we have screens in screen these are the post types so this meta box will be available for these post types so uh, I don't have this post type over here but in our previous video uh, I have created a one custom post type which is book so if you don't know how to create a custom post type now again link is coming into the i button So I will replace this with my custom post type. So this will add a new custom meta box. This will only add a meta box. Adding meta boxes. So now let's go back to our post again. Edit the post and here it is coming over here custom meta box so in this we have added this function um, add meta box let's see what parameters it is taking so this is id this will be the meta box id then the second parameter will be title of the meta box so title of the meta box is custom meta box title yep this custom meta box title then the third one is callback so this is the callback whatever we write in this function it will start displaying under this meta boxes currently there is nothing displaying in the meta box we will add this over here then the third one is the screen the screen on which show the show the box so post type we have added post types so 
it will be displayed in post and also in the book as well let's see if I go to books yeah it is displaying in the books as well let's see what other parameters it is taking context advance side default is advanced so this is uh, the parameter from where you want to display your meta box so by default it is advanced and by default it is displaying in the main section let's say you want to display it in the side then we should add one more parameter over here and let's see what happens so yeah it is now starting started displaying in the sidebar side section yep then the priority in what position you want to add the higher the priority it will display the lower lowest position then this is the extra argument if you want to pass some argument then you can pass pass from here I am not going to add an argument over here now let's add this function and let's display something into the meta box So now it is printing something so let's see what they are displaying so here uh, in this tutorial they are displaying some select box but I am not going to use that select box instead I will add a simple text box So let's refresh this again and now uh, our field is started displaying uh, just to know whenever you add a custom meta box there is no submit button it operates with this button only so now we have text box now we want to save the data into the meta table so for that we have to run uh, write a save function so I will add this over here so what is this doing so on the save post this action will be called with this post ID over here use this meta key name so this will check whether our key is exist in the submitted data or not if it is existed then it will update post meta with this key so let's try to run this let me refresh this first I will add one 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 and update I will refresh this so currently value is not displaying but let's see if it it is stored on 
database or not this is the post id equal to one so let's go to post meta search post id equal to one and as you can see our meta value is added through the meta box now we want to sorry we want to display the stored value over here so this is added in the post meta with this key so now we will have the value by this function get post meta this should pass something over here let's see it should be post id okay it is it is passing the post object this is the default wordpress functionality wordpress is passing this so this will be a post object and we can get this id from here so first parameter will be id another one will be meta key and last one will be true so first of all let me print r this so that you know how i added this over here let's refresh this so as you can see we have that post object over here and in the post object we have this id so that's why i have added post of id over here okay uh, we got the value from here and now we need to display it over here so that we will have the stored value so as you can see uh, we have now the value displaying over here so summary for this task uh, first we have added a meta box for these post types post and book this is the function to add a meta box and this is the callback to display content in the meta box so we have we have added this text box uh, text field in that meta box then we save that meta box while uh, we are updating the post so we have updated the meta value using update post meta then we get the value from this function get post meta in which we pass post id the meta key which we stored over here and displayed the value so this is how we can create a custom meta box for any post types you can define your post type over here so yeah this is how custom post type uh, post meta box works you can add as much as your fields over here and then you can store it using this function yeah let me know if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video